Hi everyone, today's quick tutorial is about Houdini and I'm gonna focus on one of the effects that I used for this uh, fake commercial that is to say the disintegration of the ring and uh, the mug of course uh, there are other effects uh, in the video there is the flip simulation, that is to say the beer, the foam, the bubbles, uh, the liquid and the interaction with the uh, particles coming from uh, the disintegrated mug. Finally, there is also the droplets on the mug, which is another effect. So, no more talking and let's dive into it. Uh, the first thing I did was uh, preparing the geometry for being dissolved. So, the ring is actually split into two parts. One is uh, the diamond and one is uh, the band. This is uh, because uh, in uh, um, rendering phase I wanted the material to have different properties and this was the fastest way to achieve it so that when they dissolved they had different colors uh, and different characteristics but at the end they combined together in the same object. So, um, actually the effect on the ring and on the mug is exactly the same. So let's check it. The first thing, I actually achieved the, the effect not through um, RBD destruction but through booleans. So basically here I have the diamonds, here I have the band and uh, the sequence of nodes is exactly the same, so I will focus on one chain because the other is just identical. So basically here I created a sphere, I applied a mountain effect which is animated, so it's moving in time, then I smoothed it out, I transformed, I applied a transformation, so as you can see it's moving, uh, it's moving from one position to the other, basically it's uh, uh, crossing uh, all the geometry of uh, the ring. Then I created two booleans, one for uh, the geometry and one for the emitting particles. So basically the first boolean here is a subtraction between the here this uh, stone, this uh, sphere and our, uh, in our case, uh, our diamonds and the result is just uh, a geometry which is cut, so nothing more than that. The emitting particle come from another boolean which is uh, basically the intersecting surface so here is an intersect with solid and surface. On this surface I scattered points and then uh, with a pop net I emitted particles from them. Uh, not many surprises here, so there is uh, our source with the birth rate. Uh, I used uh, a very short uh, life uh, expectancy because I didn't want the particles to live too long. Then I applied, a, oops, I applied a, a pop wind uh, which is uh, also animated uh, because I wanted the wind to f slowly fade out. There is some swirling and some roughness so I didn't want uh, uh, the 
affect the wind to be strong but uh, nonetheless visible some pop drag uh, to slow down uh, the, the particles and then uh, a pop solver in which I didn't really change much so after that I deleted uh, some particles actually 70% uh, of them because there were too many and they covered basically the entire scene so I decided to reduce the amount I also there are a lot of attributes most of which are totally useless but uh, they slow down the simulation so I get decided to get rid of uh, everything but the age and the velocity then I used uh, an attribute wrangle to uh, adjust the scale of the particles and uh, the p scale and uh, finally a uh, point vop to scale down the particles the p scale uh, in order to get smaller and smaller as their life increased so there are two entry points one is the age which goes in a fit range so this is our uh, initial values that I remapped 1 and 0 uh, so I wanted them to go inversely with the age so they could go become smaller as they aged I entered the p-scale as uh, other value then I multiplied them used a ramp, uh, a spline ramp to uh, change the uh, rate at which they decrease in size and finally a bind export p scale uh, as exit point finally uh, here I could control the ramp so I'd made them uh, uh, decrease in size uh, not in a linear fashion then here I have the particles, here I have the geometry and I merge together in order to get uh, both of them. Then on the other side I did the same for the band, so band, geometry and particles and finally I merge them into a single object that uh, uh, reacted to the moving uh, sphere and uh, could uh, dissolve uh, in time so that's it i hope uh, you enjoyed it thanks for watching and uh, see you next time